Hi, I'm Life Coach Landry, and the topic is eight things that men look for in women. You know, often in my videos, I talk a lot about feminine energy and masculine energy. I will also be doing a video on things that women seek in men. This one is about things that men look for in women. Feminine energy is connection, bonding, nurturing. Uh, when men are upset, they know how to calm you down. Uh, they know how to bring things back to more of a centered, balanced approach. Uh, they use their emotions to culture and cultivate uh, meaningful conversation, and they're good communicators. If you're with a woman who doesn't do some of these things to express feminine energy, she may not be the type of woman you're looking for because this is obviously what most men look for. But I'm going to go through eight quintessential things. Number one would be sex. Not just the act of sex, but everything that comes with sex. And what I mean by that is a lot of women fall into like a comfort zone where they let the, the freak inside go back inside, um, especially in a long-term relationship. They start just doing the basics, okay? Don't be afraid to tell him um, where to go. Don't be timid when it comes to his desires either. You know, be a good listener and what men are looking for sexually. Some men are vanilla. Some men are vanilla and chocolate. Some men are sprinkles and handcuffs and furry coats. Okay, number two would be uh, warmth. Um, if a woman has both sensuality and warmth, she probably doesn't have a problem attracting men at all, right? And remember, there's a very big difference between attracting men and keeping men, okay? Men will men are opportunists by nature because of their DNA wiring, so a woman can easily bring in a man. What most women complain about is keeping a good one, and keeping a good one requires good, strong feminine energy, okay? Meaning your communication needs to be good, your warmth needs to be there, when things are awry, women know how to apply the warmth so that a man frees up his feelings to, to elaborate and express himself, which usually makes the situation better, okay? Number three would be honesty, okay? Being honest about your feelings and your insecurities and your wants and your dislikes are crucial to a deep relationship. It's impossible to build a lasting, committed relationship if... Um, you know, you'd rather lie than work out whatever you're talking about and or saying behind his back or you're communicating bad press to people outside of your relationship. So the perception of your relationship starts to become bad. Well, once a man recognizes that, you start to look like you have bad feminine energy. Men are not attracted to that. Be honest. OK, um, number four, my personal one, my personal favorite ones is be easygoing. Men, science shows men are attracted to women. They're laid back and can handle things well multitask and don't put too much emphasis or freak out about any one thing this is tell one for naturally high strung women struggle the most in this area uh, because they usually have a lot on their plates which makes them high strung you know but being able to relax when you're around a man in an intimate setting uh, is crucial to things remaining solid okay if you seem uptight stressed out if you're rigid um, it may confuse most men, right? Because men will recognize a lack of feminine, good feminine energy in there, um, and they won't want to be around you long term. They'll go through a couple struggles with you, but when they realize you can't shake it, typically men tend to move on from women like that. And it doesn't matter how good looking you are. Studies show that even very attractive women have a hard time if they're very uptight. Okay, number five. A relationship with family and friends. Men are attracted to feminine energy, which is communication, bridging, and networking. Women typically are better at this than men, so men naturally seek it out as a complementary factor to them. Okay? If you've had a bad mother-in-law or your um, your men's best friend's, you know, a real jerk, or it's just something you have to deal with, especially if a man is a solid person who just happens to have bad family members or whatnot a man will look towards you to help fix that. But he also looks how do you handle your current relationships as well will be a reflection on if you can handle his bad stuff. This might seem unfair, and often it can be switched around the other way, but we'll get to that when it comes to what women seek in men. Okay. Number six, men look for touchy, filly women. This should be you know, a natural, knowing thing. When you're on a date, the first sign a man will take his affection is if you touch his arm or you smile a lot or you laugh at his jokes physicality leads to being touchy-filly, okay? Women often are attracted to humor. Men who are humorous naturally get touched more by women. Natural connection, right? So men like to be hugged and kissed and shown that they're appreciated. 
Actually, much more so than women's studies show, men's biggest complaint is being disrespected and underappreciated. Make sure to, you know, not like hug your man and some like like he's a child or something. Hug him in a way where, hey, I was thinking about you today. I can't help but want to run my fingers through your hair every once in a while. Things like that make men just, you know, kind of go, wow, this woman like completely like loves me, embraces my ego, embraces who I am, puffs me up. Um, you know, my advice to women is you should always send a man out your front door better than he came in the front door that day. Okay, number seven, the ability to surprise. Men actually like surprises. They mostly say they don't. I think what men really want to say is they don't like big social surprises. They like personal surprises, though. Having an amazing woman who can uh, constantly surprise a man, either with her uh, worldly knowledge by cutting the grass once in a while, where a man comes home, the whole lawn is oh my god. Learning how to surf or change her hairstyle to keep things fun so a man can be attracted to something new. It creates a variety sense. A woman who isn't afraid to to grow and surprise her man. And the point is, is growth here, right? You grow when you take interest or you help out with things that aren't personally in your interest will. So the ability to surprise doesn't mean a gift. It doesn't mean you bought him a new car. It means surprising him with a change of habit every once in a while makes a man. It solves that variety sense that men have, okay? But number eight, and probably the most important, is being a teammate. Men are naturally team oriented. Okay, there's a reason why in the military men do better when their whole group is in sync than they do when they're solo. Okay, whether you're rich, poor, life is constant struggle, right? To so, if it's going to be a constant struggle, then the the key here is to go through the struggle together because you grow. All these things I've read, men. The reason these things line up the way they do is men feel like they can gain an appreciation for a woman. They can want to do things they normally wouldn't do for a typical woman who they're not with. And it helps personal growth as a couple. Okay? So I hope this helps you. If you have any questions, I get a lot of questions from women saying, I've dated a guy, he hasn't called me back, or I got ghosted, or I was with a guy for a year and he just totally changed. It usually it's because some of these habits either didn't grow or you change who you were when you came in the relationship. So these are the eight things you should be focusing on to keep a man. And if you have any questions, leave your comments below. Email me personally at the link below, and I will talk to you soon.